Hey YouTube, how's it going? Today I wanted to do a quick update on my DIY CO2 experiment and give you guys the results um, that I have for this tank thus far. Um, but first I want to apologize for my voice, I'm a bit under the weather. Um, but for those of you who haven't been following my channel, essentially what I've been trying to do is find a way to more efficiently filter the gas that comes out of a DIY system. And what I mean by that is on a DIY system you usually typically, um, actually let me show you in the 10 gallon, what you'll typically do is you will run the gas produced out of the bottles in the DIY rig, just as you see here, into a bubble counter slash filter. It'll run straight in here and then the water will act as a filter for all the gas running through the system. What happens though after a period of time that water becomes contaminated with all sorts of um, gunk from the DIY system, namely yeast, um, sugar, alcohol, things of that nature, and it no longer acts as a filter. It continues to push that um, into your tank after a period of time. And for those of you who have larger volume systems or higher pressure systems, you know what I'm talking about. You'll start to get a buildup of white gunk on the diffuser, um, which I actually left this from the end of the experiment so you guys could see it. This is the very end. This is how I could tell that it finally um, run out. Is the point where I started to get that white gunk on the diffuser. Next thing you'll notice is you'll start having white particles floating out throughout your tank, um, and they will clog up your filter in no time. With mine, um, if I left it run, it would take about a week, and I have to wash out the filter media, which I wasn't a huge fan of. Um, so what I devised in order to solve that problem, so we no longer had the issue where we had to constantly change out the water in the um, filter slash bubble counter for larger rigs, um, even part way through, which is very inefficient because it'll kill your pressure in your system, and you don't want to do it. Um, what I did is I added carbon into the bubble counter. And you probably actually saw that on my 10 gallon too if you're looking closely. There's carbon actually in the majority of this um, bubble counter. And what that does is it acts as a filter for everything that's, that's not CO2. CO2 is naturally occurring in the aquarium. It's not going to be filtered out by, by um, the carbon. But the alcohol, the yeast, and the sugar should be. And that's what I suspected would happen. And it did. Um, previously I had a 4 liter system. What I mean by that is I had... Um, I apologize for throwing the camera around. I had two two liter bottles. I upgraded to six. Actually, partway through the experiment, and I even gave it a farther stress test, um, and it lasted four months. Um, previously, it would take three weeks for the system to start producing that um, white gunk, and I have a at that point it was a four week system. So I'd have a week of producing that gunk throughout my tank. Um, now it's a six week system with the three two liter bottles. And without changing the water out, without changing the carbon out, without touching it, even in between changing out the yeast and the sugar in the rig, this will last four months. Um, and I call that a success. Um, I no longer have the issue of you know, having that gunk throughout my tank, um, and it more effectively filters everything going through there. So I've implemented it on the 10 gallon, um, as I mentioned, but on this, I don't really want to throw you guys a number on smaller tanks. I never had an issue with this tank before because it is a lower volume system. It's only two and a half liters. Um, and this system would run five weeks solid every time. I never had an issue. I just changed out the water and that was fine. I added in the carbonate just to see how long it go. It's been going four months. I imagine it'll go six or eight. I'd be surprised if it goes any less. So I continue to work with this, continue to let you guys know my results over time. Um, but yeah, I think I have an effective filter out there for those of you who also have the issue. And I've heard um, some of you have sent me messages who you know, noted that you were having this, this issue where that crap was spend, spreading throughout your tank. And it's just simple, everyday carbon. Um, I can actually show you here. I just have always this deep blue carbon. Nothing fancy. In fact, this is the cheap stuff. So uh, for those of you who want a more effective filter, this is definitely an option. And it, what I wanted to see was, was it cost effective? And I think four months on a tiny little batch of carbon, that's effective enough for me. So thanks, to YouTube, and thank you to you subscribers out there. I can't believe it. I'm up to 187. This is nuts. Um, I think I even said in my first video and I thought I'd get 10 views. So thank you all very, very much. Um, have a good one. Bye.